This garden is so peaceful and a perfect place to introduce you to an incredible cook. I love so many things about food. Brings people together, tells stories and brings cultures together. And I've got a really beautiful book here. It's called Salamati. It's written by my magnificent friend, Hamid Alahari. Hamid, come on in. Hi. <laughs> so good to have you here. This is something you should be really proud of. Yeah, I love my book. It's very beautiful. It's the best things in my life happen having a cooking book. Ahmed came to Australia 10 years ago. Almost, yeah. As a refugee. And now you've written this beautiful book. We're going to be cooking something out of it. Yeah, let's have Persian blissful from the recipes. So these would make a really great Christmas gift, wouldn't they? Yes. The colour, because it's red. Very Good red from Persian red barberries, mm. green from pistachio, and you can mm. have the rose petals. So the colour is perfect for Christmas. Oh, good. The walnuts are good for your brain. Yeah, they? as they look like brain. They look like brain, exactly. <laughs> Hummer's recipe was inspired by the protein balls found in his local cafe, but his version uses the flavours from his homeland. First, split some walnuts and Persian dates in the Nutribullet. Walnut and these dates together, yeah. already beautiful, but when you add the spices like Oof. cardamom and like vanilla, tahini, tahini yeah, good. and then we mix it. Take a generous spoonful of the date mixture and roll it into a ball. Then cover them in either barberries, chopped pistachios or rose petals and repeat. This would be a great dish to make with kids or indeed a mate you're getting to know better. But don't be surprised if the conversation goes places you don't expect. Persia is part, is uh, the old name for Iran. Yeah, Iran. old name of Iran. Uh, like, I prefer to say I'm Persian. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> because the history behind Persia is something I'm proud you came here 10 years ago yeah. as a refugee. Um, can you, do you want to share your story first of course, Of course, of course. So I came in 2012. Oh my goodness. And because oh, the, the situation day. happened in my country for me, I ran away from my country and I came to Australia by boat. It's that, it was a risk, wasn't it? Yeah, thank, you. thank you. It was a risk, but uh, I didn't have any other choice, so... Yeah, because what was going to happen? Uh, the government going to hang me. Right. Because I became... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> it's like a, you, I was an activist against government. Yep, and... sorry. <laughs> it's really emotional, isn't it? Yeah. You're doing I... really good, <laughs> better than I am. Um, so, and so you... Oh, God, I need to have a hanky. Sorry, I didn't think it was going to be this. Oh, What's happening? No, nothing. I'm just really... It's just awful. I just wish everyone was happy and peaceful. Yeah, it's a lot. But what's Christmas without a little running mascara? And I'm reminded to be grateful for what I have, that Hamad is safe, and we're able to share something as simple as preparing food together. I'm just really glad that you're here. I love that you're making, you're bringing your your culture and you're bringing new traditions and creating new histories thank here you. in Australia. And now I know what to do with those barberries I've got in the back of my cupboard. Oh, thank you. Very generous. <laughs> do you like? Mm, that's so good. good. That's really good. The cardamom and mm. vanilla, mm. two spice together, make a flavor, new flavor. I really mm. love the flavor. Mm. Me to make such an incredible gift. The handmade with love. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Hamad. You're amazing. I love your story. Right. Keep on telling it. We need people like you everywhere in Thank our you culture. So much. Thank you're you. so welcome here. Thanks for having me. You can me. stay as long as you want. <laughs> yeah. Thank, Thank you. you.